This is not an easy video to make. I've decided to delete TikTok for 30 days for five reasons. I started TikTok in 2019 before Reels was around and I just did it to have fun. I had been going through a season of depression and it was something that took my mind off of things and helped me get more creative. Then it turned into an addiction. I spent hours a day on one TikTok. I constantly checked the app to see if people were watching. I had a lot of videos go viral and the millions. Then I had some cringy videos and the cyberbullying started and it was bad. They called me all kinds of things and they wouldn't let go of it. No matter what I posted, they were in the comments calling me names. December 2019, I took a break, two months off. And when I came back, I decided I'm going to be me. I'm going to create characters. I'm going to use original content. This was on my first TikTok account. I learned a lot from that cyberbullying season. And eventually I started a second account and I learned a lot of lessons on that account that I've shared on my videos. And it's how I was able to figure out reels before reels even happened. I really enjoyed learning how to make compelling short form video. But lately, I've fallen out of love with it. I found out too much about TikTok and I'm realizing it's really not benefiting me. It's hurting me more than it's helping me. Reason number one, even with nearly a million followers on this account, I get very little business from it. Now that could be my fault because I don't put a lot of effort into this app. I spend most of my time on Instagram and YouTube, but I find that it's harder for me to find my ideal person, which I've discussed in this video right here, mainly because of the age difference on that app. Way more young people than people my age wanting to do what I do the way that I do it. But I also find that it's busy work. I'm constantly trying to create something for that app while I'm creating something for Instagram every day. And while you can repurpose, and that's what I do, it's time that I could be spending on my business or with my family. It's really not helping my business, so why am I there? Hear me out, you can make money on TikTok, especially if you have a physical product or if you are a affiliate marketer or you want to collaborate with brands. That's a totally different business than what I have. I have a coaching business, I have a course, and I don't see a lot of conversion on TikTok. And that leads me to the second reason why I want to delete the app, your mental health. TikTok has been linked to anxiety, depression, body image issues. In order for you to not let it get to you that way, you have to set firm boundaries and guidelines for yourself. I know that if I spend too much time scrolling the For You page, it's going to take me down a dark rabbit hole and I'm not going to feel better about myself. I'm going to feel worse and I'm going to waste a lot of my time. It's also been found to be bad for the brain. It's been linked to decreased attention span when you use the app more than 90 minutes a day. More than 60% of the users are under the age of 24. Their brains haven't fully developed and their attention spans are shrinking. That's not good. Reason number three, it's bad for your kids. My child is not allowed on TikTok. Yes, there are parental controls. Yes, your child can tell them that they're underage, but are they going to? I have a lot of friends who let their kids on TikTok and they're not on TikTok. If you have a child who wants to be on TikTok, I highly suggest that you get on TikTok and see what kind of content is on there. Not only are they seeing sexual content, drug usage, they're also seeing violent content and dangerous trends like the one in December when kids were told there was going to be bomb threats at all the schools in the country. The one where they encourage kids to file down their permanent teeth. The one where they encourage kids to vandalize their schools, punch teachers in the face. And what was the other one? Oh, hold their breath until they passed out. All of this started on TikTok. Which brings me to number four, and that is inappropriate content. Not just for kids, but for all of us. Another reason I stay off the app is because I know if I scroll too long, I'm going to start seeing garbage in my feed, stuff that I don't need to see. And if you stay too long on a video, then the algorithm knows that you liked it to some degree, and it's gonna send you more of that. And that's what's so creepy about all of this. You may be saying, okay, Virginia, I'll keep my kids off there. I'll limit my time on the app. What's the harm? That brings me to number five, 
That algorithm is like no other algorithm out there. Lately, when I've been on that app, it's not just showing me stuff I've watched before or maybe I've typed into the Google search before. It is showing me stuff I've never even said out loud. And I am not the only one who feels this way. Like scary how accurate the For You page is. Are you beside my brain? Are you beside my brain, TikTok? Okay, has anyone else noticed that your For You page has been a little too accurate lately? It hasn't been things that I'll Google or I talk about. It's been thoughts. So it feels like TikTok is reading your mind. The recommendation algorithm on TikTok has far more power than any other platform I can think of. Why is that the case? It's because it is tracking every single thing you do on your phone, including your messages, everything you search, every website you've been on. It knows your brain better than you do. Don't take it from me. I'm gonna put links down below so that you can go and do your own research and see what I've seen. And then you can decide for yourself if you think it's okay to stay on this app. But for me, as tempting as it is to stay, because I get a lot of creative ideas on there and I do have this massive following that doesn't make me any money, I don't feel comfortable telling you to go use an app that I don't use anymore. So for 30 days, I'm only deleting the app from my phone and the goal is I will shut down both of my accounts on the app after those 30 days. And I will keep you posted. If you wanna make sure you see what I end up doing, then hit subscribe and hit the notifications so that you won't miss the video.